2020 has been an extremely challenging year for the world with the outbreak of COVID-19. IMF estimated that global growth is standing at negative 4.9%. As we all know, China, Japan and Korea have always been close partners in tourism. Last year, Japan and Korea received 10 million and 6 million Chinese visitors respectively, which contributed to a third of inbound travelers to both countries. A revival in international visitation would definitely be significant economic stimulus. More importantly, just last August, a trilateral memorandum was signed by the tourism and cultural ministries of the three countries to reaffirm further strengthening collaboration, while governments lead and direct tourism policies the engine behind tourism development is the private sector, and the two must work together in solid public-private partnerships. Over the past 20 years, Macau took the opportunity of its return to China and transformed itself into a truly world-class integrated destination. Its openness and strong appetite for novel attractions also make it the best testing ground for new ideas with Japan as a front-runner in cutting-edge technology and South Korea as a powerhouse in entertainment, our competitive strengths are highly complementary to one another. Tourism is an interesting industry where our success depends on one another and where there are no true competitors but only partners. Given our close proximity, and shared goals in sustainable regional developments, I sincerely hope to see more regional collaborations with Japan and South Korea in the future.